Tak, tak. Już takie dzwony, co mam do Tak, tak, tak. Jesteśmy online. Czuję się ale, taką atmosferę. Ale nie widać coś. tego na laptopie. To jest też mowa. Jest broma, może być na skandydata, to bym się nie spodziewał. Na przykład tutaj też. O, 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 coś za to Też dziwię się, jest taka presja na to, żeby robić wszystko nad głosem. Że... O, to jest to, to jest to, to Szanowni Państwo, obecni tutaj fizycznie oraz poprzez internet, poprzez strumień na YouTubie. Witam Państwa na obronie Pana Aszu, Aszu Tosza Bedi, który przedłożył rozprawę doktorską Crypto Analysis of Lightweight Cyphers w dniu 29 maja 2019 roku. Po zdaniu przewidzianych prawem egzaminów oraz uzyskaniu pozytywnych recenzji został dopuszczony do publicznej obrony, która odbywa się w dniu dzisiejszym w nieco bardziej skomplikowanej sytuacji wywołanej znanym nam wirusem. So we welcome the doctor student uh, uh, and his uh, PhD advisor uh, who uh, would be asked now to present the uh, personality of the PhD student and subsequently the PhD student will present uh, his thesis in a brief presentation. So please. Uh, okay. I, you can I, shall I speak? Shall I speak in English or Polish? Uh, it is sufficient to speak in Polish. Uh, okay. Asha, maybe you could switch for a moment the the sharing now. We go. Okay. Uh, okay. That's all. That's fine. I think. Dobrze, to będę mówił po polsku, jak pan przewodniczący tak wybrał, bo myślę, że sylwetka kandydata samemu kandydatowi jest znana, więc nie trzeba. Pan Aszutasz Darty pewnie urodził się w Indiach, ma 32 lata, szkołę średnią i podstawową a także licencja ukończył w mieście Allahabad, licencja z mas matematyki, natomiast magisterkę robił z coś, co się nazywa u nich Master of Computer Application. No, taka wydaje mi się, że to będzie po naszemu informatyka stosowana. Następnie od 2013 do 2015 pracował jako programista w kilku, in, w kilku firmach. Między innymi był na stażu w państwowej firmie, taki odpowiednik naszego PKP kolejowego. W 2015 roku dostał się na staż do Polski, do Wojskowej Akademii Technicznej i staż odbywał pod kierunkiem profesora Gawiniackiego i 
Ten okres biegł się z czasem, gdzie tutaj w Instytucie udało nam się zdobyć grant z konkursu Opus, w którym ja byłem głównym wykonawcą, a, a profesor Józef Pierwszyk, nasz pracownik, był kierownikiem tego, tego grantu. I mieliśmy tam dwie pozycje do obsadzenia dla, właśnie dla doktorantów. I pan Aszutosz wygrał w konkursie otwartym jedną z tych, tych pozycji i przez najbliższe trzy lata, to jest 2015-2018, był zatrudniony w Instytucie Podstaw Informatyki i realizował grant. I efektem tych trzyletnich dociekań była właśnie przedłożona praca doktorska dotycząca kryptoanalizy szyfrów kryptografii lekki. No i ja od siebie jako promotora mogę powiedzieć, że, że ten okres doktorant przepracował bardzo solidnie. Zaowocowało to pięcioma publikacjami w czasopismach, w tym trzy są z listy A a także licznymi wyjazdami konferencyjnymi. Opublikowaliśmy w sumie pięć publikacji konferencyjnych, w tym e, cztery publikacje są za 80 lub więcej punktów, stosując nową punktację. E, prace nasze e, spotkały się, wydaje mi się, z dobrym mm, odcewem. E, społeczności międzynarodowej, bo dzisiaj sobie sprawdziłem jeszcze dla formalności. Pan Iwety ma ponad 100 cytowań z, tych, z tego okresu. To są głównie prace dotyczące kryptoanalizy szyfru, a także to już jest bardziej jego inicjatywa. Prace, które dotykają technologii blockchain i bitcoin. No i na zakończenie chciałem powiedzieć, że, że w tej chwili ta jego obecność w PWHC nie jest oczywiście przypadkowa. Jest na stażu po doktorskim w DPU u profesora Lasa Knudsena, to jest bardzo dobra grupa, żeby nie powiedzieć, jedna z najlepszych w Europie, zajmująca się kryptografią, w tym przede wszystkim kryptografią symetryczną. I tutaj też trzeba oddać to doktorantowi, że doktorant zdobył tą pozycję bez żadnej protekcji, to znaczy ani Ode mnie, ani od Józefa Pieprzyka nie były żadne listy, nie wysyłaliśmy żadnych rekomendacyjnych listów, ani opinii. Był otwarty konkurs na stronie International Association for Cryptology Research, w którym doktorant wziął udział, nie mówiąc mi też tą mutację. I, i, no i udało mu się, właśnie praca też i, i wyniki uzyskane spotkały się z, z, z dobrym przyjęciem i od, od stycznia pracuję, pracuję tam właśnie na pozycji postdoc i czeka, aż tutaj uda się uregulować wszystkie sprawy z doktoratem. Także tyle, tyle ode mnie. Dziękuję bardzo. I teraz poproszę doktoranta o prezentację swoich wyników. Please, I would like to ask the PhD student to present the results of his research. You have 20 minutes time. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, everyone about this internet setting and everything. I'm really grateful to all of you. Uh, so my research topic uh, is cryptanalysis of lightweight ciphers. And the goal of the thesis is to evaluate the security margin of selected lightweight ciphers 
and then exploit their weakness into successful and potential, uh, potentially practical attacks. Uh, library cryptography is one of the emerging area of uh, cryptography over last two decades, uh, and it involves the design and analysis of cryptographic primitives for devices with constrained resources such as uh, memory and computing power. Uh, due to the limited capabilities of these devices, it is not easy to run standard cryptographic algorithms such as ABS that requires high processing uh, power and memory. A third-party cryptanalysis is always essential to have a reliable evaluation of a new promising cipher. Uh, we have chosen uh, two cycles from Caesar competition. The Caesar competition was started in 2014 and ended in 2019. Uh, in the first round, 57 algorithms were submitted to Caesar competition, and the screen uh, cycle we focus on was one of the 29 Caesar round two candidate, while Ascon was the final round winner under a uh, lightweight category. The other two ARX cycles we choose uh, was RESPECT, which was designed by National Security Agency of United States of America, and the other lightweight cycle, uh, LIA. We formulate following hypothesis before our research regarding the screen. Uh, the screen has insufficient security margin for lightweight applications. Uh, for ARX, the heuristic used in single-player games such as Sudoku can be successfully applied and due to problem of finding differential path of ARX cycles. And the third one regarding ASCOM, we uh, formulate that the sad piece of cryptanalysis leads to fast practical attack against the round produced as on. And uh, we, um, we apply following kinetic tools to the screen. Uh, we, uh, we evaluate this uh, screen by using linear crypt analysis and then we extend uh, this analysis by using a differential cryptanalysis and then we extend this uh, this analysis with impossible differential cryptanalysis and then investigate uh, differential path in the related key scenario. So what is linear cryptanalysis? Uh, you can see this figure. Uh, this is just an example of substitution permutation network and we can treat it like a toy cipher where the first round is the key which is hidden from the attacker and the other sorry where the first layer is the key which is hidden from the attacker and other uh, layers are substitution and permutation so once we apply the key this whole cipher works as a black box so we don't know how the data is flowing from this uh, cycle. And in linear cryptanalysis, our aim is to find a path with high probability. So we want to find a probability linear relationship between the subset of plain text bits and the subset of data bits proceeding the last round. And to analyze the non-linear layer which is s box we generally create a linear approximation table with the help help of s box uh, design and for input of four bit s box and output of four bit s box we can create this table of size 2 to the power 8. in, in the table you can see uh, that left hand side alpha represents the input of uh, cipher uh, input of S box and beta represent the output of S box. So here we can see that B is the input and highest probability 
of output is 2, uh, which is rounded by 8. And, and similarly, we can choose uh, what are the highest probabilities of input and output uh, when, we pass, when we pass input and output through as boxes. Now, what is differential crypto analysis? Differential crypto analysis is a study of how difference propagate through the algorithms. Differential characteristics is a propagation of differences through the cryptographic input. Here we choose a two plane text, P1 and P2, and then we encrypt both of them, and then we try to find out how the how the difference of these two states propagate through the algorithm, and then we create a equation with that difference. And uh, for this, we, we also, uh, for differential properties, we also create a difference distribution table similar to linear approximation total. And for S-box, the size of uh, this table is 2 to the power 8 because it has 4 bit input and 4 bit output. And uh, we applied linear analysis and we got the results for five rounds and the recommendation by the authors, by the designer of the screen was 20 rounds. With, with the help of differential linear, we attacked five rounds. With the help of impossible differential, we attacked four rounds. And in the related key scenario, we used differential linear and we attacked 11 rounds of the screen. Now, next chapter is uh, ARX cipher, uh, where we choose the spec and DL from the ARX family. ARX uh, consists of three operations. The first one is addition, modulo 2 to the power n. The second one is the rotation, and the third one is the XOR. So, in, in ARX cipher, we don't use any heavy operations like S box and everything because they are generally made for. Uh, IoT devices uh, with resource constraint. Uh, but, but the problem with ARI cipher is generally the size of the block start from 32 bit. It could be 32 or it could be 64 or 128. So we have seen like in S box, we were able to create a difference distribution table or linear approximation table with size 2 to the power 8. But if we want to create a difference distribution table for uh, ARX cipher, we, want, we need a table of size 2 to the power 64 or even more, which is actually invisible. So therefore, building a good differential path in ARX is, is very hard. We face a huge number of possible different difference transitions for the nonlinear part, that is modular addition box, and we don't know how to how to find such part in case of ARX. And this is actually the biggest problem nowadays, where a lot of researchers are still working. And we were actually inspired with the nested Monte Carlo research, uh, which was um, designed by by a scientist from Paris, Dauphin University. And we think that this, this nested uh, method can form a differential path. However, we did not apply the same algorithm, but we were just inspired, and we changed the whole algorithm according to our need. And we applied this algorithm to spec 32, uh, which is the smallest size of, which is the smallest version of the spec, and we got the result for nine rounds out of 22. We did some more experiment by applying some more technique with with this nested method, and we got the results for all the variant with block size 96, 64, and 128. Here, here is the result you can see. Uh, for for the smallest variant, we um, attacked 13 rounds, and the for largest variant, we attacked 19 rounds. Similarly, we applied the same algorithms to Leah, and we found the results for 12 rounds. 
we, we dated the differential path of our rounds and then with the help of these 12 rounds of differential path we attacked uh, 13 rounds of um, cycles. So our best result was uh, for the spec, uh, largest block of spec, and we got the result for 15 rounds out of 34. And using this path, we attacked 19 rounds of spec. And for Dia, our best result was 12 rounds out of 32. And using this path, we attacked 14 rounds of the cycle. So what was the best in this research was that our algorithm was producing a result in a very fast way, while the other algorithms, uh, by other researchers, produce the result that takes a lot of time, like four to seven hours. But in our case, we got the state of art result just in five to ten minutes of so, uh, experiment. Uh, and our last chapter uh, is regarding a scon cycle. Uh, set this appearances of the scon. A set solver solves the Boolean satisfiability problem. Uh, Boolean satisfiability problem also abbreviated as satisfiability or sometimes set. So to understand what is that problem, first understand uh, what are the literals. I guess everyone knows that we take variables like x, y, z or negation of the, those variables x, y, z, z and these variables are for the literals. Once we the disjunction of these uh, variables that is called the clause and when we say the function of clause called the function in normal form we, call, we also call it the product of sum so for example if we take one example z is equal to x x of x of y we can convert this equation into the same form which we have represented here uh, f as f now what is that problem? That problem is how to choose the values of this these variables so the whole equation f becomes true. So basically if if we could found such values of x, y, z such that the whole equation becomes true, then this equation is satisfiable. And if we cannot find um, such such uh, values, then this equation is unsatisfiable. So basically, we can we can uh, divide the problem into the two parts. The first is we translate the set problems in, into the conjunctive normal form, and then we pass this conjunctive normal form to set solvers that solves um, that find the valuation of those variables and find if it is satisfiable or if it is not satisfiable. So this is just an example where we can choose some crypto primitive some ciphers, we convert that cipher into the conjunctive normal form, we pass it to the sad solver and then sad solver gives us the solution of unknowns. Here we again explain the same things. Uh, P represent the plain text, K, uh, K represent the key and the output is a cycle that C and we write it in the form of conjunctive normal form and then we try to find out the value of individual uh, variables P1, Q1, C2, P2 and uh, using this way we can we can get we can recover the key of our cycle. Uh, result uh, we got for us one was only for the two rounds. So actually this s is very secure and still this s cipher is in the least competition and it is a round two candidate. So we can say that still this is a secure uh, cipher. But uh, we found these results in a very practical way. <coughs> Our analysis has shown that s is secure against that. So, the key of this search, the hypothesis considered without uh, speed, 
The minimum number of rounds recommended by screen designer is 20, so it offers a solid security margin. Therefore, the research hypothesis regarding the screen turns out to be false. Uh, for SPEC and DR, we used uh, algorithm inspired by nested Monte Carlo search, and this is a serious proposal for finding differential path in the ARX cipher, and even we can apply this algorithm other ARI cycle to, work, to get the result very fast and efficient. The third one regarding the SCON, uh, we may argue that uh, uh, the rounds SCON are indeed uh, practical and can be verified on a single PC. And that's why our third uh, hypothesis is also uh, true. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the presentation. Now we will go over um, to the uh, reading of the reviews of the uh, PhD thesis. Zapraszam pana prezesenta do odczytania swojej recenzji. Może być słowo skrócone. Okay, may I get the microphone? Okay. Thank you very much. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. PhD student. Okay. Right. And, uh, <clears throat> hello, everybody. My name is Marek Kronowski. I was uh, uh, the reviewer in this uh, in this uh, 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 for this PhD thesis. Uh, I have a privilege to, to 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 write an opinion about it. Uh, since my uh, PH, uh, since my review, my report has been uh, publicly accessible, uh, uh, can be accessed easily. Uh, let me just uh, just 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 uh, give a summary here only. Uh, first, I would like to say that the PhD thesis were uh, are really interesting. And I think that uh, the many results um, um, presented uh, in uh, PhD thesis uh, are important uh, from scientific point of view. Um, most of the results are theoretical. This means that ca they cannot be uh, instantly used for attacking uh, uh, real-life uh, uh, protocols. However, uh, I. I'm fully convinced that uh, the progress in crypto analysis is uh, significant and the PhD candidate uh, provided uh, and contributed some important uh, yeah, important contribution to, 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 to the progress of the crypto analysis. Uh, it's also very important that the results uh, uh, and some attacks were presented for uh, important ciphers uh, that uh, were analyzed and were um, uh, important for the scientific uh, community. Maybe for that reason the PhD candidate gets uh, many, many, many citations as for um, such a young researcher because it's uh, over uh, 90 or maybe uh, the, uh, the supervisor uh, Pavel told something about uh, 100, yes? Uh, so uh, there are many, many citations. It's because the results are quite important. I would like, like also to say that uh, the results uh, are um, quite difficult and technically involved. Uh, a PhD candidate um, proved that he is able to use very advanced techniques uh, of uh, contemporary uh, crypto analysis uh, and uh, definitely results are um, highly non-trivial uh, and uh, well used. Uh, this PhD thesis uh, is based on uh, several, uh, as far as I remember, four or five uh, papers published uh, in good conferences uh, and uh, in a good journal. Maybe it's not the best journal, best conferences, but still very, very good international standards. So it's it's it's, it's good. Of course, in the uh, in the thesis, I found some drawbacks, some problems, but I received the response from from uh, from the PhD candidate uh, translated into Polish, and I'm fully. 
satisfied with the response, so in my opinion this is okay. In, in conclusion, I would like to um, say that I am fully convinced that the PhD thesis uh, fulfills all uh, requirements uh, um, typical for a PhD dissertation uh, that can be, let's say, um, formulated in Poland or in any international uh, good university. For uh, that reason, I am uh, convinced that we should uh, grant a PhD a degree uh, for Mr. Ash. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, the second reviewer, uh, Professor Mirosław Kurkowski, could not be present today, uh, regrettedly. Uh, he is uh, a professor at the Institute of Computer Science of the uh, Stefan Cardinal University in Warsaw, uh, as well as uh, a professor at the Cyber Security Department of the uh, Police University in Szczytno. Uh, his, uh, uh, thesis, uh, his, his review of the thesis is uh, concluded in a similar way as uh, in case of the first reviewer. Is, uh, he states that the uh, results presented uh, in uh, crypt crypto analysis of selected ciphers of the light cryptography uh, are related to um, hot topic uh, and important and interesting problems uh, with respect to scientific uh, consideration of the uh, cryptography and uh, this uh, thesis uh, contains many original and interesting results. Uh, he states that his critical remarks uh, contained in the review uh, are not changing his positive, his overall positive opinion about the whole thesis. And he also recommended, uh, recommends um, that um, according to the standards of the Polish law, uh, the PhD student deserves the scientific degree of a doctor in the area of uh, technical information science, uh, in the area, in the domain of technical sciences. Uh, his details, detailed remarks uh, point that the most important result uh, is his algorithm for uh, finding the differential paths for the algorithm of the ARX class described in chapter 4. Uh, he, the, the, the author uh, got the inspiration from a relatively simple but re a very effective method of uh, tree search used in one-person games like uh, Sudoku and in various variants of uh, card plays, okay, card games, uh, and finding the good differential uh, faces uh, can be also considered as a game, hence this inspiration. It is worth stressing that the results of the chapter 4 were published in the IEEE journal, uh, in the IEEE Access Journal, in, in a paper differential crypto analysis for round reduced specs uh, suitable for Internet of Things. Uh, the PhD student applied the derived method also for other ciphers of light cryptography, uh, which resulted in the publication uh, of the paper uh, Crypto Analysis of Round Reduced uh, Fontman's Robin and uh, I Scream in the uh, journal Cryptography. Uh, the 
results of uh, differential crypto of differential linear crypto analysis uh, for the cipher screen were published in the um, journal Information Processing Letters in the paper Differential Linear and Related Key Crypto Analysis uh, of Round Reduced Screen in 2018. Uh, partial results were, pre uh, were presented earlier at the uh, Secret Conference in 2017. Also, the analysis using um, the SAT testers <coughs> results in chapter 5 were presented at the conference C-Script in the paper uh, set-based crypto analysis of uh, authenticated ciphers from the Cesar competition. The mentioned uh, publications uh, were cited together 24 times without auto-citation uh, this, this data follows the Google Scholar registry. This means um, that the thesis is uh, well recognizable, uh, especially uh, because the time from the publication doesn't exceed two and a half years. Uh, the reviewer also mentioned uh, several critical, uh, critical remarks. Um, the analysis of the cipher screen in the chapter 3 was uh, performed using standard techniques like crypt uh, differential and linear crypto analysis and a variant of differential analysis, so called uh, impossible differential crypto analysis. Uh, the reviewer is a bit disappointed by the fact that. Uh, no, no, uh, no attempts were made to introduce some new uh, ideas uh, for enriching of these classical techniques. The situation is rescued partially uh, by usage of, a, of an additional parameter, the tweak in the scenario uh, where the attacker uh, can control it so that uh, longer uh, differential characteristics uh, can be obtained. A similar remark is uh, related uh, to the crypto, uh, to the set crypto analysis for the cipher ASCON. The author uh, follows the um, traditional path. So the uh, construction of uh, Boolean formula, conversion to CNF, and then to solve it with a sub-tester. Uh, the original part uh, in this fragment of the thesis is a well-designed uh, choice, which uh, fragment of the algorithm should be subject to the attack, and in what scenario. The uh, encoding of the entire cipher uh, in the form of CNF and attempt to solve it uh, via SAT is a task of a too high complexity in a reasonable time. However, it could have been attempted uh, to analyze it more deeply, for example, by studying various methods of building the formulas and um, observing how the uh, attack time is influenced by these different formulations. So, uh, this is essentially uh, the most important part of this uh, review. And uh, now I would like uh, to ask the PhD student to respond to the critical remarks of the reviewers. Please. Uh, regarding uh, the screen cycles, our analysis. Uh, 
produces um, some theoretical attack and for for sec. from the beginning because we lost the sound. Okay, hello, can you hear? Yes, now we can hear you. Yeah, regarding the screen, our, our uh, attacks are theoretical, but uh, we will try to uh, make some tactical attack uh, in, in the future. And uh, uh, regarding the ARX cycles, uh, the cipher our nested Monte Carlo algorithms um, that we used, uh, which is inspired by nested Monte Carlo method, is actually a very good uh, technique and which is never used before in cryptography to find the differential path in, uh, in, in cryptography. So we will try to attack other cycles by using this nested ma method and we try to incorporate some more uh, techniques with this method so that we can make some practical attack to other cycles. Uh, yeah, that's it for me. I would like to ask the reviewer if he's satisfied with what has been said by the PhD student, or do you have any further questions, more deeper and uh, in, in, I received already a, a written uh, explanation of some um, problems regarding some problems I pointed in my uh, uh, PhD thesis uh, report. Uh, and uh, as I said, I'm fully satisfied with uh, responses that uh, I accepted. So this is okay for me, from my point of view. Thank you very much. So the, the other reviewer is absent, so he cannot respond. Uh, so uh, we will now go over to the public discussion. Uh, rozpoczynamy, proszę Państwa, w tej chwili publiczną uh, dyskusję nad rozprawą. Jeśli ktoś z Państwa obecnych na YouTube miałby jakieś pytania do naszego doktoranta, może je zadać pisząc e-mail na mój adres. Mój adres klopotek małpa ipipan.waw.pl Dobrze, to rozpoczniemy od pytań obecnych tym na sali osób. So we will start with the questions of the people present in the room and then I will go over to my computer to see whether somebody has sent in some uh, questions uh, by email. So, uh, the interviewer uh, is, is uh, asked uh, to ask perhaps some further questions, if he has one, some. Okay, traditionally I'll start as a reviewer and only one present here. Uh, I have a question, but uh, let me stress that I have no uh, ready response for it. Uh, I just ask. Um, Namely, I would like to ask you about the uh, possibility of using your techniques uh, for asymmetric cryptography. Is it possible? Because there are many techniques you used uh, for attacking uh, various uh, symmetric uh, cryptography schemes, uh, but I think if it's possible to use 
um, such methods of cryptoanalysis also for uh, asymmetric schemes. That's my question. I guess I can use uh, we can we can use the stack solver for asymmetric algorithms also. We can convert the problem into the stack of uh, that base problem and we can find the solution. Regarding linear, differential and other scenarios, I'm not sure if I can use it for for uh, for the cryptography. <laughs> Any further questions? No. 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 Okay. Uh, does anybody else want to ask a question? Uh, my, uh, my question is about uh, the SAT attacks. You said that you found uh, Aspen <coughs> secure against SAT attacks because only two rounds could be solved. But what if we use some other SAT solvers? Or what if we use some other representation of the problem as a Boolean formula. Uh, maybe such approaches could be more powerful. Could you uh, comment on it? Okay, what, what I hear uh, response. Uh, yeah, of course we sad solve is the one part of this and we have many other uh, cryptanalytic tools that can be applied for a spawn or to cipher and we can get the, the results. So I, I understand the question properly. So can you conclude that other such solvers or other ways of representing the problem as a formula. So, can you confirm that such other approaches, other such solving approaches, are would not uh, succeed against the uh, against Aston. You tr uh, as I understand, you tried one method, one solver, and you tried one way of representing the problem as a formula, right? Yes. So there must be other sub solvers. There must be other ways of representing it as a formula. Could you be sure? Well, could you be sure that those methods? Uh, are not more powerful than the one you have used. <coughs> yeah, I think uh, stack solvers they work you know, on the basis of backtracking. So other attacks will provide. Uh, excuse me, you have problems with the sound. Sometimes yeah. distorted. We, we can, I guess, we can. That, 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 um, we uh, can, maybe we can get better at uh, using those techniques. Any further questions in the room? Um, I'm not a specialist in uh, cryptography, cryptography, but uh, um, I would like to know what kind of such uh, solver uh, have you used? What was the uh, the system behind the the, the such solver? Was it uh, 
a parallel system or a sequential system, or what kind of uh, uh, computing technology was used? Uh, and what about the, the complexity uh, of this uh, problem and that you uh, try to solve? Thanks so for your subject, the uh, comes under empty complete problems, empty complete, and uh, we can reduce that problem form of the sad problem. And we can uh, convert any empty problem into the sad problem and get the result for um, for that problem. And we use uh, software like uh, LinkedIn and other software that have solved the sad, sad problems. What, what was the complexity? Could you could you say a few more, a few words about this? It's, it's the number of variables in, in uh, say, if, if, if we have n variables, the complexity is 2 to the power n. Number of variables in the formula, let's say we create a conjunctive normal form, and we have n variables, so the complexity will be 2 to the power n. Because it works uh, in a tree-like structure, if you go inside the sad solver, they work on the basis of pre structure with backtracking and complexity is to the power and for that. Okay. And then I have a second question that, that concerns some more formal matters. Um, uh, I think there were there were some remarks in the in the uh, report uh, written by the person that w that is absent. What are some remarks that should be answered inside the, the report that you have uh, re uh, read? Because I, I think that uh, the student should reply uh, to, to, the, to the second Review also, even if if the reviewer is not here. Uh, otherwise, we may, we may be question why why it <laughs> didn't happen <laughs> during this meeting. So maybe I should I should mention that. Uh, but the, the, there was a, a written form of, of response to the, yes. the reviewer who is absent. So uh, Professor, Professor Kurkowski got his responses. Oh, it, it was not uh, announced here. I okay, okay. So maybe it was... Didn't so, 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 so I, I didn't get uh, any information this is. Yes. Okay, uh, so, so let, let me uh, then ask a, a question concerning just, just the um, content in this uh, review. Uh, the, the reviewer says that uh, with respect of the, to the uh, screen, the screen cipher described in chapter 3, only standard techniques were used, uh, such as uh, differential uh, analysis, uh, linear analysis, and uh, so-called impossible differential crypto analysis. So the question would be then, why did you not use other techniques, and why didn't you develop your own ones for this screen cipher? 
Okay, so for the scheme, of course, uh, it was our first year research, uh, uh, and that's why I use these known cryptanalytic tools for the screen. <coughs> but after completing or after completing this whole research, I have more knowledge of cryptographic tools, and I guess in future I can apply other techniques, uh, my own techniques. Uh, to get better results for those cycles. So we performed uh, all the cryptanalysis of the screen in, in my first year. So uh, that's why I, I use these known techniques, uh, differential, linear, and impossible differential. So uh, the, the other question, uh, which, I, uh, which seems to appear in this review um, is the following uh, uh, if you uh, when solving the, the problems in chapter 5 with the SAT methodology uh, uh, why did do you not use uh, other uh, methods of formulating uh, of formulating uh, the SAT formula, the CNF formulas and uh, why didn't you investigate whether different formulations uh, could provide uh, better or worse attack time so that you would evaluate whether uh, what, what, what are the differences between various uh, CNF descriptions of the same problem? Yeah, so, of course, for s we have applied only the set solve. I think other techniques we can apply in future. Um, um, so in this duration, we had limited time, and so we could apply um, fewer techniques to as long. But definitely, uh, in my future work, I will, I will use other techniques um, for such cycles. Okay. Okay. Any further questions uh, by the participants here in the room? Yes. Uh, I would like to ask you one another question, namely, what, in your opinion, is the most important uh, problem in your um, research time, uh, field? Uh, what is the main, most important, let's say, issue in uh, uh, symmetric cryptography that should be solved now? Uh, you mean in my in my thesis? What is the most important problem? No, in a uh, research uh, field uh, you are working on, uh, generally, <coughs> realistically, uh, of of uh, of uh, symmetric cryptography and crypto analysis. What's the most challenging, for example, problem? For example, in uh, there is a famous example in theoretical computer science. Most important uh, is uh, is believed. Of course, it's not a one single question, but it's believed that uh, p, uh, uh, if the p class is equal in p. Uh, uh, but, uh, for example, in, in some other uh, fields, uh, something else can be important. What is important of the question uh, in, 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 in your research? For me, obviously, I guess the most important problem is uh, we have to find few more techniques for cryptanalysis which are practical so that we can we can perform practical attack for the cryptanalysis part of uh, cipher because as we can see uh, there are a lot of good conferences uh, good journals where uh, very known scientists they, they submit their papers uh, it is accepted but most of the uh, attacks are theoretical a uh, very few of them are attacked. So basically, if we are using a uh, lot of energy, a lot of energy consumption uh, for making cryptanalysis, so it's actually useless. Uh, in that way, brute force is better option than these uh, theoretical attacks. Okay, so the problem is to make the uh, theoretical uh, attacks uh, work in practice, as far as I understand. Yes. 
Yes. Thank you. Okay, uh, I would like to remind you once again my email address. Proszę Państwa, kto z oglądających przez YouTube chciałby zadać pytanie naszemu doktorantowi, może zadać pytanie przeciwko polsku także, proszę napisać na mój adres klopotek, od kłopotek, tak, małpa ipipan.waw. So uh, we have. Uh, Hello. Uh, we, we have uh, questions also from the uh, over the internet. Uh, Professor Serbrne is asking two questions. I will read uh, in, in, in a sequence. So the sequence. The first question is: uh, What do you think? is the most important result in the last 20 years in computer science. This is the question for the uh, uh, Have you understood the question? Yeah, what, what is the most important result in, in computer science in the last 20 years? Yes, exactly. I think it's hard to say what is the most important because there are many research uh, results which are very important last 20 years. So you are free to choose. Uh, so even even if if we talk about the cryptography now. Uh, there are many encryption algorithms which uh, which produce which gives a uh, very tight security uh, to our computer system, and uh, other things are like the uh, quantum cryptography research is also very important uh, nowadays, and we have many results in quantum cryptography. In lightweight cryptography, we have. We have many good results. Yeah, so I, I guess choosing only one one part is uh, biased for me. Okay. The the other question is as follows: Do you know anything about the problem of uh, I voting? That is voting over internet. Uh, sorry, can you repeat the question? Uh, uh, what could you say about the I voting, that is voting over internet? I, I, I guess it is about the security of such voting. Uh, you mean identify someone on the internet? No, no. It, it means, for example, you have elections, yes? Yeah. yeah elections and uh, the people are now uh, should vote over the internet. Yes. For example, yes? And uh, uh, what could, could you say, how, how security it is in various, uh, in various uh, senses uh, to make such a uh, voting? For example, uh, there are many aspects, yes? For example, first of all, that you are secure, that your vote reaches the target, yes, uh, and, and not gets lost on the way. And on the other hand, you should have the uh, 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 more possibility to vote anonymously, yes, so, so that nobody knows your identity if you vote. And, and on the other hand, you should not vote twice or so. So, uh, what, what, uh, um, what kinds of uh, security issues do you? know about this voting over internet? So, uh, for now, uh, it's, it's not secure to uh, use uh, internet for the voting. Uh, a lot of researchers are using, uh, nowadays, are trying to use a blockchain uh, to make secure 
to make more uh, and more secure voting procedure. But the problem with the blockchain is the it works very slowly. So if you choose a country which is very small, in that case, it could be successful. But if you are choosing a country which is a very big, like United States of America, China, India, and those countries, the blockchain is a is a bad um, technique to use for voting. And there are many attacks possible vote using the internet. And it depends if you are using uh, your mobile phone or you are using your uh, computer. There are many cyber security issues with uh, with this uh, way. So for now, it's not possible exactly. So, so thank you. Uh, in case anybody wants to ask questions over the internet, dla, państ dla Państwa, którzy chcą przez internet prawda, tu zadawać pytanie, proszę wysyłać e-mail na moje nazwisko. Odwrotnie. Nie, znaczy, bo to, to, nie, to, 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 to ci tutaj, to, to nie, to, tam, jest, tam jest kamera, tak? No tak, ale aha. Tam jest kamera, tak? No ale jesteś specjalnie odwrócony do kamery, tak? Zesłuchaj. No to, to, to znaczy, są, są dwie kategorie tych, którzy tym uczestniczą, tak? Jedni przez YouTube, jedni przez ten. Dla, dla YouTube, tak? To jest Kropotek, Małpa, Ipipan, Wa.Waw.pl. So, in the meantime, I would like uh, to ask you uh, one question. You have uh, said that uh, your attacks uh, with your algorithms are quite speedy, so, so that uh, within five minutes you can uh, um, achieve the same uh, attacking efficiency as other algorithms uh, attain in, say, five or seven hours or so. And the question is, uh, if your techniques are that effective, couldn't you extend the attack time and just pass uh, uh, through or break uh, more uh, layers of, of, of this uh, or more, more rounds of this uh, ciphers? Why, why, why did you achieve only say 19 and not the 34 uh, when you have such a short uh, processing time? Yes, yes, of course, this is a very nice question actually. But uh, it is also important if such differential exists or it does not exist. And um, so we can, we can uh, extend the time for our algorithms and we can play with this one. And it, it might give, because it's a random algorithm. Nested Monte Carlo search is a random algorithm and it's not necessary like one time it produces one, res one result and the second time it produces the same result. So uh, only Nested Monte Carlo research we can use this algorithm for say uh, two days and we actually tried this Nested uh, method for, for 24 hours and we were getting the same results. Uh, yeah, so that was the best result. We tried many experiments to get the better results, but we could not talk. Okay, thank you. I'll just look if there are more questions over the internet. I do not see any. So, uh, any question in the room still? Yes. Uh, I have one uh, rather naive question. Uh, as I understand, the SAT-based attack was used only to one uh, cipher. Why was this? Why, uh, what, uh, why was it applied only to such a restricted set of uh, ciphers? Um, this could be applied actually uh, a cycle of four. 
but it was not producing very nice results. Why? That's why we uh, decided to stop this analysis only for Ascon and not to uh, perform for other cycles. Because now in any good um, conferences or in any good journals, they they won't find the results. Like how many rounds you attack, they they don't want to for you need or this perform was very technical or as technical, but we just want to see the results. How how did you succeed? It. So uh, this is the reason because we tried for S and got the results for uh, two rounds. And even my colleagues they applied the same algorithms to see the original paper of side of cycles. We applied it for six cycles. In my part, both we as on, while my co-authors did this experiment to other cycles. Like uh, Pavel also did uh, analysis of one cycle to back, and uh, Professor Joseph he also did some analysis. My colleagues in Ecuador, which they did uh, analysis of models using set this different, and we saw that result were very strong. We were getting the results for fewer number of rounds. That's why we thought that uh, we should stop within tech or like this. So, thank you very much. Any further questions? If not, then I will check once again the internet. No, no more questions. So I think uh, we can now stop uh, this uh, public uh, part of the defense. Uh, the Commission will now go and uh, make a uh, meeting discussing um, your defense. Uh, and uh, for those interested, uh, we will just so we will make you our uh, decision. And uh, for those uh, looking uh, at this uh, defense at uh, YouTube, uh, a brief information will be made. Announcement will be made also on the YouTube side after we have mm, made the discussion and make the decision. Szanowni Państwo, dziękuję wszystkim, którzy uczestniczyli w tej obronie przez YouTube. Ogłoszenie wyniku nastąpi na tej stronie YouTube'owej. Dla, dla Państwa, dla doktoranta przez e-mail. Dziękuję wszystkim za udział w tej części. Komisja udaje się na Narado. Thank you. So thank you. And goodbye. Okay. Stay healthy in, in, in this uh, difficult time. So thank you. Panie profesorze, ja bym prosił o ten identyfikator do Zuma. Tak, natychmiast to będę robił, tylko ja bym jeszcze powyłączał te kamery, które to są. A tego człowieka nie ma, od tego wyłączenia. Gdzieś wyjdziemy na to. Ja mogę zamknąć... No tak, znaczy YouTube pan nie zamknie. Znaczy ten... ten, ten znaczy, tak. musi... YouTube pan nie zamknie, tak? Tak, tak. To, to tutaj YouTube to jakoś trzeba tam e, zobaczyć sobie tam z, z, z prądu. No nie, bo to jeszcze chodzi o dźwięk, tak? Czy to się da wyłączyć? Tak, po prostu. Z prądu. Wystarczy. 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 Wystarczy.